Howdy folks, welcome to another very cold, very rainy day out here in Vancouver. Um, they're expecting in areas today anywhere between 30 and 200 millimeters of rain just today. And this is after it's been raining for the past, I don't know, week, week and a half. This is apparently the third of the atmospheric rivers atmospheric rivers that sounds so threatening um that's coming through this area hopefully the last one and we'll get a little bit of sunshine everybody's saying that it's actually raining you know it's not normal it rains a lot in vancouver but apparently this is a lot this is like more than a lot not not normal and i've also heard that it might be a much colder winter this time around so just a quick update on what's going on in our lives and what's happening in Vancouver. Um, uh, tomorrow is recycling day again and recycling has just gotten a little bit more complex again here. We are now part of a pilot project where we have two new recycling bags, a pink one and a purple one, where we have to put in soft plastics in the one and foam packaging in the other. So it's like we now have to um, take our recycling and and, and, and split it up into soft plastics, hard plastics, foam packeting, newts, newspaper, other paper, glass, plastic and cans. It's, um, you know, it's becoming a, a little bit of a slog. And of course, you know, the thing is, it's, it's, yeah, it's not great fun. I can tell you that much because, you know, you, like, last week Sven was here and he drank you know he drinks a few beers in the evening I don't I drink gin and tonic and then you've got these beer cans and the recycling and they're leaking out a little bit of beer and it's just oh man we've got these different bins in the kitchen to throw everything in but it's still not enough you know it's still a bit of a slog every Tuesday night we have to go out and separate everything and dig through all the rubbish and then, of course, you know, people get lazy, look at you teenagers, and they just chuck things in the wrong bins and just chuck things in bags and you have to, like, dig through the rubbish. i got to be honest, I think there must be a better way of taking care of the recycling. But any which way, we do it. We're good people. We're going to split it up and separate soft plastics and separate hard plastics, but we'll do it. Um, which brings me to another thing. It's... Um, Belinda's job's doing really good. She's, uh, you know, it's been four weeks already since she started. Well, this is the fourth week, so um, she's slowly but certainly getting in there for everybody that's been asking. Things are going well. It's not easy picking up a, a, a brand new job. I mean, she needs to learn a whole new industry because um, she's in the food and beverage industry now, which she's never been in before. So it's learning all the reports and the terminology and everything. And then, of course, you know, getting on the bus and going to work and getting on the bus, coming back. Which brings me to another thing which is driving me nuts at the moment. You know, there's so much we all take for granted. You know, being South Africans, number one, the cleaning lady. And I think in general, moms, goodness gracious, you know. The house always kind of worked. I mean, we had dinner, the washing was done and everything was done. And now that mom's out working and she's not here, it's like, oh my God, now I've got to take care of it because the kids are at school and mom's at work and the kids just come home after school and they go into their rooms or they go walk around, walk about and they out everywhere. And suddenly, I must be honest, I'm starting to realize how much work mom's taken care of. And it's, you know, so we are working on it. Uh, today, we're going to have a bit of a family meeting and we're going to start discussing how we can split up some of these tasks because, you know, washing and dishes, all the kids do dishes during the week. Um, but it's also not just cleaning up. It's also trying to make sure that there's not that much dirty. Oh, jeez, Angelique, I mean, a, a teenage girl, I swear, she wears two or three different outfits a day. I don't know why. I mean, it's like, well, I suppose a teenage girl. But in any case, so yes, we are now going to start taking turns because we can't have mum coming at home, coming home in the evenings and then still having to do the, um, the washing. So we're now going to start taking turns. Everybody has to chip in. 
And that's something that, you know, as a South African, it was always easy and cheap. You had a, a, a cleaning lady that you got, that you paid, and she would come in every day, and it would all be taken care of. And now you live in this, um, you know, you live in a place where there is none of that uh, luxury. There's no cleaning lady that's going to come in like in Africa or Asia or many other places in the world. You have to do it yourself. And I think the, the, the most important thing there is to learn that it's much easier to keep stuff clean or to do it right immediately and not to waste as much as it is then to clean piles of rubbish and piles of clothes afterwards. So yeah, we're going to see how that one plays out. We need to figure out how to, um, how to convince the kids to get involved or well, like I said to Angelique this morning, we either take turns or everybody washes their own clothes or you wear dirty clothes. That's pretty much the choices we have here. There's not a lot of other choices um, because you know, we can't have mum coming from work and then still have to go and do clothing and dad jumps in and I try my best but still you know it's um we need to make sure that uh, the load is a lot more evenly distributed oh and then of course we we had a little braai for those that don't know what a braai is a barbecue over the weekend we had a bunch of friends over all uh, South Africans that's just arrived or that's been here for a while I think we were 15 people which was quite fun Lots of meat, you know, typical South African brides, what we call a bring and braai. So you bring your own meat and your own drink and we do the barbecue. But also typical South African at the end of the barbecue when everybody left and went home, there was a, like two big bowls of meat left because everybody arrives with too much meat, you know, as South African meat eaters. And it's generally kind of, people leave it at the home. I mean, it's, we're still eating barbecue meat from the weekend. Um, not that I complain. I enjoy it. But um, yeah, that was good fun. Met a bunch of new people. It was really, really uh, interesting. And um, yeah, I'm sure we'll do it again very soon. For the rest, not much to report. Life's good. Um, life's still good. It's always also still going along strongly. So um I'll check in again soon. Most of my videos will now be from here because it's permanently cold and rainy outside. Oh my gosh. And then of course the other thing is the, the well, we'll talk about it next time. The day, the, the how late it gets light and how early it gets dark. It's amazing how that throws you. But anyway, we'll chat about that next time. You almost have a beautiful day. Cheers.